my role as, as the president of uh, the Civil Engineering Society in uh, Canada is to build that uh, engagement uh, into people understanding the whole concept of sustainability. It's still a challenge for us in Canada. Uh, we, are, we are at the early stages of introducing it. So we're doing things like uh, similar th that the US folks is, we're looking at um, uh, sustainability ratings of infrastructure so that we start thinking about all aspects of designing, pl planning, designing, building, uh, and operating infrastructure for sustainability. And again, uh, one of the big, big questions is, uh, the, for me, what sustainability introduces is first asking the question, is this the right project to be building? Is it uh, economically viable? It's not going to damage the environment to the point where we're using up uh, um, uh, resources that we can't recover. And um, is it going to then uh, serve us for a long time as well? Today, I wouldn't say that we have gone far enough to really appreciate and, and uh, look and design sufficiently in the full context of sustainability. We have focused on environment, but we haven't focused so much on the, uh, the social aspects of, of impacting. And so I I'm not sure I would say that we are fully there yet. We aren't when it comes to sustainability and the way we design, build, and operate infrastructure today. All engineers need to be leaders in sustainable infrastructure. We actually, in Canada, our society decided that that was one of the uh, new principles that we will abide by in, our, in a new vision that we have for the society, and that is leadership in sustainable infrastructure. And the ability to communicate with decision makers, with uh, economists, with uh, social scientists, that's a tough one. We are not used to talking to social scientists. We have to be part of that whole package. So there is no question that engineers need to be leaders, not just technical providers. I've taken to say, where is the uh, inspiration for change? It's in those idealistic, and perhaps some people might say naive views of young people. Um, I've come to the point where I try to get them to nurture that idealism. So don't let people uh, that are my age knock that out of you. You bring that and you speak it and speak it loud.